Today we're going to talk about current in electric circuits, so we'll talk about the unit of amperes, and we'll be focusing on the famous Kirchhoff current law, which applies to every electric circuit in the universe. So Kirchhoff's current law is very simple in principle. All it basically says is that at any node or any uh, connection point intersection of different circuit branches in a circuit, like this would be a node right here at this connection point, the algebraic sum of all of the currents entering the node and leaving the node has to add up to zero. Now, when you use Kirchhoff's current law, uh, basically, the current going into the node, you uh, choose an algebraic sign for that, and the current leaving the node, you choose the opposite sign. So there's a current convention involved, but it basically means that the current entering the node must be equal to all of the current exiting the node. Now this makes sense when you think about what electric current is. It's the movement or the flow of charged carriers, usually it's electrons and wires, uh, in, in the circuit. So if you could slice this wire right here and look at the electrons flowing through it, if you could see them, they would be rushing past you in a chain reaction sort of way. And so the electric current gets to this uh, junction spot. And when that happens, part of the current goes this way and part of the current goes this way. But when they come back out to the other side over here and join back up at this node here, they recombine. So it's really very, very similar to a garden hose with water splitting. And that's because electrons are made of matter and so the conservation of matter always applies and so you can't really create or destroy it you have to account for it so all of the current entering a junction point must be equal to the addition or the summation of the current leaving the other side so let's say that this was your circuit and you knew that the current coming out of the battery was six amps right and you had three branches right one two three forget about this one over here and that's all you had so you may not know what I1 and I2 and I3 actually are flowing through each of these branches because you're not sure what the resistances are. But Kirchhoff's law tells you that no matter what, if you add up I1 plus I2 and plus I3 in terms of their, their amps, their current, whatever you get must equal the total current that was flowing in because you have to have conservation of mass. And this applies to any node in any circuit, no matter what is going on, even crazy situations. Let's say you have a node here, there's a voltage source with some current flowing through it, resistor with some current, there's some light bulb or something with some current and something else going on there. When you add all of these currents up, keeping in track their signs, they must add up to zero because of conservation of mass. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.